Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Take Action News. David Schuster here, and that music means it is time for our weekly discussion of social media with none other than Dr. Alan Rosenblatt, Dr. Digipol on Twitter. Alan, how are you doing this weekend? We're having a little uh, technical issue uh, hearing uh, Alan. Alan is uh, attending something known as a transparency camp. Uh, Alan, can you okay. hear me? I can hear you fine, David. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. So, Alan, what, what is transparency camp, and, and why is it so important? So Transparency Camp is an annual conference, or rather unconference, put together by the Sunlight Foundation, which brings together the uh, uh, key players, influencers, and stakeholders from, uh, from, the, from government, uh, the advocacy world, nonprofit world, uh, and from the technology sector uh, to talk about ways to make government more transparent, open, accessible, and to find ways for not only for government to provide more services and more effective services to the people, but for people to be more engaged with government in the process. And what are some of the trends? I know that in past years there's been a lot of discussion about databases and using social media for the government to be able to engage users of websites. What are some of the trends uh, going into this conference? Well, the real key is not just that the data is made available uh, b uh, by, by uh, the government, but that it's made available both in whatever interface they might think is important, but also in raw API or, you know, data feeds so that creative people out in the, in the private sector and in the nonprofit sector are able to take that data coming in, uh, use, develop applications for processing it and displaying it and using it to develop narratives that people can better understand what government does and how it works in the process or make it easier for people to, uh, to uh, use um, uh, navigate around the city. Uh, one of the early uh, applications of this approach was uh, all the, the phone apps that let you find out where your bus or metro train, uh, subway train is uh, at the moment and how long it'll take before it arrives at your particular stop. And that's all based on public schedules and GPS transponders in all of the, uh, all of the, the buses allow them to track where all the buses are and know exactly when they show up. So that principle of solving the problem of, you know, uh, making sure that the buses, the bus systems are accountable and making sure people are able to use the bus systems more effectively, take that to how um, all aspects of what government is doing. Uh, and that's, you know, that's really the big, the big approach. Um, so, uh, but the big drawback and the big, you know, concern is, you know, data itself in, you know, numeric form that people tend to think about, uh, it doesn't always tell the whole story. So it's important to be able to not only have access to all the data, but to have some synthesis and analysis of it as well. Alan, you're uh, participating in this conference. What, would, what are some of the things that, if, uh, you know, that you will be telling or you would like to tell government officials or agencies about things that they should be doing better to make some of this information more accessible to, to folks? Well, I mean, one, way, one issue is, is hot in the news right now, this whole issue with the Veterans Affairs, that um, all of the processing of the... Uh, uh, of the, the application fees, uh, applications for um, benefits for disabilities uh, accrued by veterans in war are taking years to process because they're all being done with paper. And so uh, the idea is then to, you know, not only um, provide data, but to create a whole system where the, the claims come in via, di uh, via digital format, they're processed via digital systems. Uh, with a person managing on the other end, and then you're able to identify uh, where it's moving smoothly, where it's clogging up, be able to address the issues of where it's clogging up in order to unclog it uh, and make sure that uh, the services are delivered much more effectively. As a result of that, you're able to make very clear and open to the public how the Veterans Administration is using that information and, and, and how well they're delivering the services that they're supposed to do under the law and so, you know, I, if you really think about it, the whole transparency movement is not just about accounting for what government does and how well it does it, but for figuring out ways to make it move more effectively and to be more accountable so that we can fix it where it doesn't work well. 